What's up guys, Tony Hannity's here with Lazy Tech TV and the future of wireless charging has finally come to fruition. Not only do we have wireless charging with Android, but of course iOS has adopted it for their products as well too as of a couple of years ago. But now that I'm on iOS, by the way, I can take advantage of it as well too. It just doesn't work with pop sockets so though. It just... Nevertheless, with wireless charging docks, there are a ton out there. I have a chance to try out a new one from Defense, the same brand that did those AirPod cases, and this is called the Vertical Duo. So you're able to charge not one, but two devices wirelessly. One can be vertical and one will just be flat on its surface. Now when it's vertical, obviously, you would probably want to have something like this on your desk, maybe facing you so you can keep up with your text messages and other things that will come through your phone but not necessarily through the computer. And then the secondary charging pad, you can charge another phone or your AirPods if you have the one with the wireless charging case. And finally, what's really nice about this dock, it actually has a third charging mechanism, a USB port. Now this is USB-A, so you can connect an old micro USB charger to it or a newer USB Type-C to USB-A cable, if you still have one of those, and it plugs in via USB Type-C into the wall. So for those of you that are not in the know, USB Type-C is going to give you the fastest speeds possible for charging your devices. Now while charging your phone vertically, you can have the phone vertical, but it does have enough coils on the charging pad so you can place it horizontal as well too. So if you're watching something like Netflix or YouTube, you can still have it charging while you get the full screen advantage of your device. I wanna be clear, it is not quick charge. So you're not gonna get the speed of half of your phone is going to be completely charged up within 15 minutes. It's not going to be like that. Wireless charging right now, as many wireless charging pads or coils you can put into a device, the technology isn't there for the speed. So if you need something quicker, the wireless charging mechanism isn't that. But because it does have that USB plug on the back, if you, in a pinch, need to quickly charge your device, you could try doing it that way as well too. While I do wish the speed of the charge was faster, that's more of the technology limitations and less of the problem with Defense and Exdoria. So I don't blame them for that. But overall, I do really like having this setup so I can just pop on my phone onto the dock and I don't have to think about anything, don't have to fumble with any kind of wires. And the same thing goes with the AirPods. Once you place your device on the dock, there are two lights on the front that will flash as your device is charging. And you can put any wireless charging device on here, whether it's iOS, Android, an AirPod, other headphones that charge wirelessly, the list goes on. I like how it's not Apple centric. I like how this will fit virtually any wireless charging device, whether it be a phone or the AirPods or something from Jabra or Samsung. It, it doesn't really matter. There are competitors out there with iOS centric charging mechanisms and its surrounding ecosystem like an Apple Watch or the AirPods and it won't fit anything else. And that's very exclusionary. This one is not. Are there any downsides to it? Yeah, it is quite pricey, I'll admit that. At MSRP at $80, it might be a little bit out of the ballpark for a few people, but you have to remember, you're charging up to three devices simultaneously, and wireless charging as a technology right now, it itself is fairly expensive. So you're gonna find a lot of other competitors around the same price. It only comes in one color. I kinda wish it came in a few other ones. And because of that color, and although black does go with everything, it does have these black rubber pads and they're rubber and dust can be attracted to rubber and not go away. So it, it, it can get dusty pretty easily. Not to say my studio is filled with dust, but you, you get my point. But from a convenience factor, from an ease of use factor, it, it's been phenomenal. I'm very happy with it. And again, it's something that will work for anybody that is getting a modern mobile device 
right now. So go check it out in the link in the description down below. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave that in the comment section down below. And we will be on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Stay tuned for that. I also have a podcast called The Still Recording Podcast with a buddy of mine called Quentin McKinnon. And we come out every two weeks and we talk about just random, random stuff. It is safe for work and safe for kids. And so I hope you guys enjoy that too. So we will talk to you guys in the next one. Late.